What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be going over 20 legends that I would like to see in Madden 20, obviously from the Eagles. For the Eagles theme team, now legends, obviously we consider these guys who are retired guys that aren't in the league anymore. So all these players are retired. They were Eagles and they were demons. Now, obviously this could be, you know, when we're saying retired guys, you know, we're not counting guys like the Fridge, right? Who played a year with the Eagles, obviously. But they're really good players we're talking about guys that were legends for the eagles just made great plays for the eagles so we got a lot of guys let's go ahead and get right into it first up is sheldon brown now i don't know if sheldon has ever had a card in ultimate team since i started playing personally i don't remember him ever getting a card if any of you guys did let me know uh he was a demon corner so i don't think he was very tall but you know what I mean? He was a demon. Second one is Brian Dawkins. Obviously, there's going to be some guys that I'm going to say that always get cards, but they got to be said just because, you know what I mean? They have to get a card. Brian Dawkins has to get a card. Hopefully, he gets one early in the year. Third one is Harold Carmichael. Now, he did get a card in Madden 21. Now, I, know, I don't know if he ever got a card before Madden 21. I was definitely a little disappointed he didn't get one uh, this year in 22. Hopefully, in 23, they bring him back the six foot eight demon. He was fast and he, he needs to come back. The fourth one, we got Chuck Ben Derrick. I think that's how you say his name. He got a card in Madden 20. I don't I don't remember if he got one in Madden 21. I don't think he did. I do remember he got one in Madden 20 though. Um honestly, Chuck Ben Derrick, like I, I remember before him, but I was always told he always got a card, and then you know, the last couple years he just hasn't got one. So I don't know what happened, but you know, why not bring him back? You know, he was a cool little edge rusher, so I'd, I'd be cool with it. Fifth one is LaShawn McCoy. Technically, Lash, you know, LaShawn McCoy, he is retired. He's officially, you know, he, he's a legend. He is definitely, you know, you could possibly say our best running back ever. He's definitely my favorite running back ever. And, I mean, I remember that card he had at Madden 21. It was that veteran card he got, like, the end of the year. He was a monster. So he, he was really good. He had one. He he was really good. He had one of the best jukes I used all year. Was definitely disappointed he didn't get a card this year. So hopefully for Madden 23 we get a Lashawn McCoy legend. Sixth one is Brian Westbrook. Now I know for sure I remember him getting a card in Madden 20. If you guys remember, we had got Deuce Staley at the beginning of the uh, beginning of this year Team Diamond. He just never got another card again. I was hoping Brian Westbrook would maybe get one. He didn't. I remember he got one in Madden 20 though. It was the Team Diamond card was really good. Uh, you know, he'd be, he'd be definitely good for the beginning of the year because he'd be like a receiving back. And, you know, receiving backs are always good until, you know, Hot Rod Master comes out. So maybe, just maybe we'll get Brian Westbrook. Seventh one is Trent Cole. I've been asking for a Trent Cole angle uh, ever since I kind of started playing Ultimate Team. And since I've been playing it, he hasn't got a card. So I really, I, Trent Cole is one of my favorite edge rushers all the time. That guy just, he, he had built an edge threat. I, ain't I could see him maybe getting a Team Diamond, but... I don't know. It's up to EA at the end of the day. Eighth one is Reggie White. Obviously, I'm sure Reggie White's going to get a card. Reggie White, Brian Dawkins, those guys are, you know, kind of the ones that always get a card. But you got to say Reggie White, though, because we do need a Reggie White. You know, he had a couple cards this year. That I never, I didn't never use his Campus Hero card, but I do remember using his Team of the Week card. That card is really good. And obviously, the card that he got, uh, the Easter promo card, that was pretty good, too. So... You already know Reggie White's going to get one, though. Ninth one is another guy that is, you know, a guy who always gets a card, Mike Vick. Now, it sucks because Mike Vick, now, his running back card this year is really good. That was a W card. I love his running back card. One of my favorite cards I used all year, but his quarterback card, it sucked. And the reason why it sucked is because they just gave him a bad release, which is weird because, you know, usually Mike Vick has a pretty good release in Ultimate Team. So, I'm hoping for Madden 23 they get that fixed up because... The only reason I even started playing Ultimate Team is because they told me they had Michael Vick on it, so I said I had to play it. So hopefully we get they get that thing fixed in 23 because I need Mike Vick on my field. Next one is Troy Vincent. Now Troy Vincent got a card I remember in Madden 21. He that card was really good. I ain't gonna lie. To, sometimes I have him in safety. Sometimes I put the guy in corner. He could play everywhere. He was definitely one of my favorite cards I used that year. Uh, he did get a card this year. He didn't get one in 20. Uh, they need to bring him back. He was a bigger corner. I think he was like six foot or six foot. I think he's like six foot one. He he was a bigger corner. He was a, he was a W card. Eleven. We got Asante Samuel. He also had got a card uh, at Mad Twenty One. I remember him, it was in the beginning of the year of Twenty One. Asante and Troy Vincent both had team diamonds to start the year. And I ain't gonna lie, that was a W. Now I know Asante's a little small, five foot ten, but you know, if this Madden, I'll be honest, like playing that beta, Ty Tyron Matthew on the field, five foot nine. 
or I think I had him. I had him at safety, and he was just making plays. So you know, smaller guys might be able to make plays this year. We'll see. So. Maybe if Asante comes out, you know, he could be a demon. Twelfth one is Malcolm Jenkins. He's retired. So, you know, I think we can all agree. I would consider him an Eagles legend. I mean, you know, he did so much for us when he played for us. Because his time in Philly, I feel like we were, we are, the defense was always hurt. The guy had to play everywhere. Sometimes he's a safety. Sometimes he's a linebacker. There's a couple of times he was even at slot corner. Like, the guy did so much for us. You know, he helped us win a Super Bowl. He did knock Brandon Cooks out the game. I mean, I think that was Malcolm Jenkins. I might, nah, that was definitely Malcolm Jenkins. So, in my eyes, Malcolm Jenkins, the Eagles legend. I feel like he never gets a whole lot of love with the cards. So, maybe next year, you know what I mean? He'll get some legends. He'll make some Team Diamonds. We'll see. Thirteenth one is Terrell Owens. Now, I know T.O. didn't really play for us for very long, but in the short time he played for us, I mean, that guy, he carried us. He carried us. Uh, he's a, he hasn't been a Madden in, what was he, he was a Madden, he was a Madden 20, and he hasn't been in there since, obviously, I, it's definitely a right issue, because we all know is one of the best receivers ever, so, hopefully they get his rights, that's the only thing that's stopping him from, you know, I guess being a Madden, maybe he doesn't want to be a Madden, I mean, I can't really blame him. Number 14 is Darren Sproles, now, in my eyes, Darren Sproles is just a legend, any NFL period, and I know I said it's really only Eagles legends. We're not counting guys just because they're legends in the league, and maybe they play for the Eagles for a year or two. But I think Sproles played for us for about five, six years, and he was he was really good for us. Like I feel like his time in Philly was really underrated because he got hurt a lot. But when he was on the field, he made nothing but plays. Now I can't remember if he was on the roster when we won the Super Bowl. I don't remember if he, I think he was. He might have got a ring. I can't remember, but I, I just remember like. The guy made lots of plays for us in his time in Philly. That's all I can tell you. 15th guy is Jeremy Macklin. I, I feel like he's going to go down as one of the most underrated receivers in NFL history. I mean, it, like he he was like amazing. The guy could run routes. He could catch. Like he did. He could really do it all. And I feel like after he left Philly, I just I guess I guess he had the injury bug kind of going on because I don't really know what happened to him after he left Philly. Because I feel like the guy probably could have still been in the league possibly. I really don't know what happened to him. All I know is when that guy was with us, he was unguardable. 16th one is Brandon Brooks, another guy that just retired. He, in my opinion, definitely one of our best guards, probably in the history of our team. Now, obviously, you know, there's probably guys back in the day, 80s and stuff that I have no, I don't even know, but I'll tell you this, Brandon Brooks, one of the best guards I've ever got to see play. So he's retired. Why not give him a legend? Why not? 17th person is another offensive lineman, John Runyon. Now, John Runyon, I know for a fact, I remember he got a card in Madden 20. Uh, I remember, actually, I think I remember not liking it. Uh, I'd be fine with seeing John Runyon come back, but definitely, uh, he's he, he was a big body. He definitely was a big body. 18, we got Charles Young. Now, look, I'll be honest, before Madden 22, like before Charles Young got a card, I had no idea who the hell Charles Young was. When I remember when they dropped the card, I'm like, tight end Charlie Young for the Eagles. I'm like, okay. And let me tell you something. This guy is one of my favorite tight ends I ever used in Madden. Like, I, we did watch this. I did, we did go ahead and watch his highlights. They were in black and white. And if you, let me tell you something. If you look up Charlie Young highlights on YouTube, I don't know about you guys, but the video we watched, it was a little disturbing. Like, it had this creepy music and it was just, it was a very offsetting video. But the point is, Charlie Young, probably one of my favorite Titans I ever used in the Ultimate Team. Let's bring this guy back. For 19, we got Leto Shepard. Now, I don't know if he's ever gotten a card on Ultimate Team. I'm really not too sure if you guys know. Let me know. He was a really good corner for us. Once again, I don't think Leto was too tall. I think he was like 5'10, 5 5'11. 5 but like I keep saying, you know, playing that beta, so many smaller DBs were just making plays. So. You know, Lito's got a chance. The very last person is obviously a guy that usually gets a card every year in Ultimate Team, Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham, I'll be honest, like I used him. He was my quarterback almost the entire year this year. I remember from when he got his free agent card, I think that was in like March. He was like my card the rest of the year. And remember, he had got that card in like November. Like Randall Cunningham was pretty much my quarterback the almost, almost the entire year. So that's, you know, yeah, I like Randall Cunningham, don't get me wrong, but uh, I, I get, like, me and Randall Cunningham have a very, very up and down relationship. Like, he's good for a little bit, and then he's bad for a while. He's good for a little bit, so, 
Hopefully next year they fix my Vix release, but those are just 20 Eagles legends I could think of off the top of my head that, hey, want to see an Ultimate Team? Now, obviously, there's way more. I mean, we could be here forever. Let me know some guys that you would like to see from the Eagles. They don't even have to be legends. They could just be anybody. I said legends because I wanted to think of guys who are, you know, uh, retired and stuff. Let me know who you guys would like to see. Eagles legends, anybody in ult Ultimate Team in Madden 23. Maybe it don't even have to be Eagles, just guys, period. Let me know. Who you guys uh, think should be a mad? I know you've seen that little follow on the screen. Um, shout out to Blake for the follow. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man. And your boy is out.